Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Yasemin Aman Nejad, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Mathematics and Computing. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to Mount Royal University. Before I begin, as part of our commitment towards reconciliation and decolonization, we acknowledge that Mount Royal University is located in the traditional territories of Nitsitipi, Blackfoot, and the people of Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Siksika, the Pikani, the Kainai, the Sutina, and the Yahi Nekoda. We're situated on the land where the Bow River meets the Elbow River. The traditional Blackfoot name of this place is Mokensis, which we now call the city of Calgary, the home to the Métis nation. I'm pleased to be here to help celebrate the achievements of women in science, technology, engineering, and math fields, and to focus on new ways to support their success. Today, we're joined by Whitney Isaac, Associate Minister of Status of Women, Rachel Timmermans, Students Association of Mount Royal University Vice President External, Teresa Taylor, Head of Content and Public Relations of Chickkick. As an educator in computing field, I have interacted with many bright women in our classrooms who excel in their programs. These women have overcome many challenges, such as gender stereotypes. Some have even been questioned about their decisions when they chose to join programs that are traditionally known to be male dominant. These women, with their determination and hard work, have shown by example that studying in STEM fields is not gender dependent. The success of these women has a clear message to other women in Alberta, in Canada, and all over the world, that they can also follow their dreams in any STEM fields that they may wish to pursue. As a female with an engineering background, I was fortunate enough to have family, friends, supervisors, and colleagues, male and female, who have supported me and made me, my journey to be possible and pleasant, making me believe in the importance of supporting my peers and students that I work with. Today, we're gathered here from the government of Alberta, academia, and industry to show our support for women in STEM and celebrate the success of women in the STEM uh, scholarship recipients and acknowledge the need for increasing the representation of women in STEM fields. Now, I'd like to invite Associate Minister Isaac up to the podium. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much, Dr. Minajad, and, and uh, so happy to be joined here by Rachel Timmermans. You know, students' associations are so important in student life, and, and Teresa Taylor from SheGeek, and all the administrators and students here today. It's really a pleasure to join you. I'm Whitney Isaac, the Associate Minister for the Status of Women. And, um, you know, today we are acknowledging that when we support women, we're supporting our families, our communities, and the growth of this province. Advancements in STEM will help Alberta succeed on the global stage, and women in our province will be a big part of that bright future. Studies show that by advancing gender equality and women's participation in the economy, by doing that, Canada should add up to 150 billion in GDP from current stage. 
That's why as part of Alberta's recovery plan, our government has been leading a coordinated effort to support women in unlocking their potential and achieving their academic and career goals. That starts by supporting students in pursuing the education that they need to secure fulfilling, high paying jobs in the industries of the future. This year, I'm pleased to announce that we are supporting more students than ever through the Women in STEM Scholarship. 293 students will be receiving $2,500 each to help pay for their school fees and tuition. That's 243 more than last year, representing a total um, investment of $732,500 in Alberta's future. This is a one-time increase in funding through Alberta's recovery plan to help kickstart Alberta's economic growth and invest in long-term growth in this province. Every student receiving this scholarship has the potential to make great new discoveries in their fields, to be leaders in technological and scientific progress, and to build the path for Alberta's future. The recipients at Mount Royal University, some of whom are joining us today, are tomorrow's engineers, biologists, chemists, computer scientists, and more. Supporting students is the key to building Alberta's thriving future and growing a strong and resilient economy. And I'd like to congratulate all of the scholarship recipients across the province. You are achieving incredible things and have demonstrated your passion and dedication to reaching new heights. You are the trailblazers of today and you are a driving force in science in our province and will encourage the next generation of girls to follow their dreams as well. I can't wait to see what you accomplish next. And on that, I want to say thank you. And now I would like to introduce Teresa Taylor. She's the head of content and public relations for Chic Geek. Hello, um, yeah, I'm Teresa, and I'd like to thank MRU as well as the Alberta government for having me here to help represent both Chic Geek and women's voices in technology and STEM careers. Chic Geek is an organization founded in Calgary over a decade ago by MRU alum and, uh, and female in technology, Kylie Woods. We exist to build gender diversity in tech and support women in STEM careers. Part of my own career has been built around supporting the region's innovation efforts in technology, as well as supporting women in STEM through work with the Science Centre, my work with MRU, and now with Sheet Geek as head of content. I also have a boutique PR agency that supports technology and our startup sector. And it's, you might be interested to know there are a lot of women, female-founded startups in our province. Our technology sector is growing, made, making major economic waves and disrupting the status quo at an exponential and exciting rate. We know that the leaders in this area are hungry to support and retain diverse voices while bringing more women onto their teams and keeping them there. Diverse voices at the table are not only the right thing to do, it's proven that they impact our bottom line results. But while we represent half of the population, Women in Alberta only represent about one quarter of the employees in STEM fields, and only one third of STEM graduates. Through Sheet Geek's research via our new Career Pathing Mentorship Program, also supported by the Alberta government, we have found that women in the region who are eager to either expand on their career and who are already in, in a job that may include computers or other STEM areas, or women that potentially want to pivot from other industries into tech, are facing several common hurdles. The challenges women face are issues such as finding a clear line of sight and opportunity to transition into tech from other sectors, such as oil and gas, clarity on how that career trajectory could look and what skills they need to obtain or nurture. And once they have secured the roles, they are still experiencing a lack of career growth and stagnation. That's why support and mentorship is integral and it has to begin earlier in the process for women at the post-secondary level, not just when we're in the field. 
This is where we come in at Sheet Geek to create those touch points and community mentorship opportunities. And it's why we're so very excited to see the government and MRU supporting women with these scholarships in the sciences and other tech areas. Both Sheet Geek's founder and myself graduated from Mount Royal. And ironically, while we both make our careers supporting women in STEM and in the technology sector, we are actually liberal arts grads. Myself from the journalism program and Kylie from communications. One of the reasons that MRU was important in giving us the tools and confidence to succeed in our areas of expertise is because I personally feel that Mount Royal University has always understood the need to embrace an innovative learning and mindset that allows students to think critically and pivot where they need to. It's a skill that's integral to succeeding in STEM and in technology. So we know technology is always advancing and changing. I also personally think MRU has always understood how to bridge the gaps between the liberal arts and sciences. These scholarships are going to go directly to impact the women that we talk to every day at Sheet Geek. Women who are eager to work in STEM and contribute to our economy in ways that will disrupt and create impactful change and solutions for humans. It's required support to help level the playing field in this province for women. Women who will be the next potential STEM leaders and startup founders here. We cannot sit idly by as a community and say, oh gosh, looks like the stats say we need more women in STEM without putting action to work and investing in women privately and publicly. I know that there is someone who is equally as passionate about supporting students and women as we at Sheet Geek are. She's here today. I'd like to introduce Rachel Timmerman. She's the VP External Students Association of Mount Royal University. She's very passionate about politics and engaging people in the policy process. And she's darn tired of young people being made to feel that their opinions don't matter, especially considering Alberta has one of the youngest populations in Confederation. She was elected to the chair for the Council of Alberta University Students and represents students from across the province. She's a great advocate for students and women in STEM in this region, and I'd like to welcome her up to speak to you now. Thank you for that great introduction. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I also want to thank Minister Isaac for the opportunity to speak today and to highlight the importance of supporting women in post-secondary and especially within the STEM fields. Today's announcement to invest an additional $607,500 into the Women in STEM scholarship is an exceptional increase in funding compared to previous years. Last year, 50 women were awarded the Women in STEM Scholarship. Next year, with this investment, 293 women will be eligible for this award. These funds will significantly reduce the barriers and increase affordability for hundreds of women across Alberta. In 2016, Michelle Obama said, the ability to read, write, analyze, the confidence to stand up and demand justice and equality, the qualifications and connections to get your foot in that door and take your seat at that table, all of that starts with education. The contribution this scholarship and its recipients will make to the province of Alberta will show returns for years to come. This investment is one strong foot forward in the movement towards equity for women. Louise McKinney, the first woman sworn into the Alberta Legislative Assembly said, the purpose of a woman's life is just the same as the purpose of a man's life, that she may make the best possible contribution to the generation in which she is living. As we look to the future, it is important to constantly reevaluate how we are investing in, respecting, and supporting the women around us to ensure that they are able to fully participate in and contribute to society. We must remember that in the pursuit of equity for women, this is a journey with many steps. I am so encouraged to see this investment into women in STEM, but our journey does not stop here. Rosemary Brown, the first black woman elected to a legislator in Canada said, we must open the doors and we must see to it that they remain open so that others can pass through. I look forward to working with MRU, my fellow student leaders and the Ministry of the Status of Women to keep pushing forward on this path to continue breaking down barriers and looking how we can sustainably invest in the success of women in this province. Thank you.
Thank you, Minister Isaac, Rachel, and Teresa for sharing your perspectives and being here to support the recipients of Women in STEM scholarship recipients. This concludes the formal portion of today's event. Now, I'd like to hand the mic over to Amanda Lablock, Associate Minister Isaacs, Press Secretary, to take questions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So now we'll start um, questions. We'll start with um, anyone who's here in person. So it'll be one question, one follow-up. And there is a mic just at the back there. So please line up. See none, we'll go to the phone line. No, we don't have any questions. Well then, thank you so much everyone for coming. Um, have a great day.